not a stream effect split, is it? So top left hand side, we're going to start off by introducing our Blue Zerg player from Psystorm Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, it is... True. Now to the bottom right hand side of the map, we're going to be having our red Zerg player. It is the Korean Sleep. Of course, True probably going to be the favourite coming into this. But we'll see how it plays out over the next few minutes. See what's going to be happening. And see how this is going to be going. As we do just have Hatchery first from both players. But is one of them going to be on the gold base? Doesn't look like it. Looks as though he's going to get to a standard start from both in the next few moments. So Hatchery first from both players. Sorry for the dogs, guys. The uh, puppy is currently attacking one of the other ones and she's fighting back. And she's very loud when she fights back. Because I don't think she actually wants to play, but the puppy doesn't understand this. He just thinks her barking back at him is, um, is part of the game. So, so yeah, cool, sorry. Plug my phone as well to charge. Sort of professional, hashtag professional streamer, kappa, kappa, kappa. So, uh, what's going on? Um, not much hatch gas pull from both, so we're going to get off to a fairly slow start. This is an interesting map for ZVZ in the long run. So, I mean... Early on in this CVZ, I mean, Ling, probably something like a heavy Ling player style is going to be what is most common to see here. I mean, we're talking about sort of you know, Hatchgas Pool and Apotheosis. It's a long map, there's a lot of counter attack pathways. It's going to take a long time to get roaches across the map. It really is probably going to be a, a you know, kind of a Ling Bane Muda sort of game from both. Uh, it's generally how this sort of map plays out. It's probably why True won't feature it. Probably if Sleep likes to play that style, it's probably why he doesn't. Uh, Veto it as well. As we're going to be seeing this uh, overload just coming in towards the upper left hand side here over the next few minutes. A couple of Zerglings are going to split up and go a couple of different directions to take some map control. Jesus, the dogs are going crazy. Even if the door shut, I can hear them through my headphones and everything. Doesn't help that we have quiet music on in the game as well, but. Hmm. Hopefully they're not killing each other. Fingers crossed. Been in this on the way down here from sleep with a lot of lings on the way as well. He is going to be the first to start applying some pressure in this game. You can see what he's doing. He's hiding his zerglings in the back as well because what he wants to do is he doesn't want to reveal his zerglings until his speed is finished so that when his opponent sees the lings, he has as little time as possible to react against this. So, I'm just going to be seeing the uh, lings join up together here and a few of them are going to peel away at one into the side and true is actually going to spot the number of zerglings there is right now. So, True's going to figure this out, and we're going to see those Zerglings going to start marching across the map. We do have a few lanes already across here. They're going to become Bane lanes. Bane lanes only halfway done for True right now, as he's actually taking a very fast third base over here. So, can True hold on? He's got Spinecrawler building in towards this mineral line as well. And we've got Spinecrawler building in towards this as we have the lane Bane continue to come across to the top side. Let's see if Sleep is going to make this happen. Currently, 24 army supply to the 9. Obviously, there's a lot of defenders' advantages a Zerg player can use in the ZVZ. Spinecrawler has been one of them, but the first fight has to be cancelled. The second one is going to be the fact that he can wall off with the Queens here, and that will buy him a little bit more time to get his own Bailings up. But he is looking as though he might break on through. These drones to the side are not being used just yet. These Bailings have to be careful. He has to make sure he uses them effectively. You know, see another Bailing coming forward here. Should just blow it up to kind of get through, and he's going to go for the Bailing. Okay, he pulls away from the Bailing. More Ling is coming across from Sleep. As True has to start fighting in his main base, Bailing connection is good from True there to help him defend. No more balance from my... Okay, actually, there's two more balance here from Sleep, and they're going to look to connect on just Zerglings here to help him out. I mean, if he connects on Zerglings, then it helps his own Zerglings just continue to do damage as well, of course, as we are going to be seeing that next Bailing. Still moving around, still thinking about where he wants to go. Does just go off here. We're going to see more Lings still streaming across right now from Sleep, so still just spamming Lings across the map. He has taken down two Queens, and so True is currently missing Injects, which means this might get a little bit better for Sleep over the next few moments. As we're going to see one Ling left onto that uh, Bailin, one Bailin cancelled here. Another one will have to morph in in a moment or two. Queen does get into a good position as it spawns between that Bailin nest and the hatchery. Minimize the surface area on it as we see that one Bailin. Also looking to see what it can again act on. Doesn't find anything too important just yet. Another Bailin at the back is going to finish morphing in. It is not going to get denied, although this Bailin here is getting very low. Circling count is starting to overrun, I think, a little bit for sleep, however. We're going to see him still with Balance to use, although there's two Balance from True. Balance, ooh, two for one. 
in favor of True. That's obviously great for him as one Baneling, as one Zergling goes forwards. There should be a cancel on that other Baneling that's morphing in right now. It's so low on health. True is still working with a 7 worker advance. She's again missing injects though, which can definitely hurt as time goes by. Sleep is not going to die for that damage Bane, which is a big mistake, I feel. It's a big opportunity lost as we see more Banes of his own coming on in from the right-hand side. Right now, he leads by a 10 army supply advantage. He has had that army supply advantage for quite some time, actually. As we'll see him having to back off. And this time, True is, you know, every time True pushes us away, he seems to push us away a little bit better. You know, there seems to be a little bit, le you know, there seems to be a little bit further back that uh, Sleep is able to kind of get his reinforcements and then push forwards with again. As you're going to see those things coming in once more. Bane connections don't really hit on anything. Not sure whose Banes those were. One of them was Sleep's. Not sure about the second one. Sleep's still with an army supply lead. Obviously, again, missing injects does hurt over time. And that's something we are seeing still come into play from True's side of things. A couple of Banes off to the right-hand side. They're going to morph into uh, Banes right now. And these two Banes here from True as well are going to be important to the defense. And again, it looks like True's starting to push this back a bit. There's Queen on the low ground. He's got another uh, Queen on the way out. So Zergling's going to come in to try and shut down reinforcements. That's a cute little move. So we see the Banes moving forwards as well from either side. Looking to see what connections they can get. The Banes from two don't really do anything at all. And this one Balin here will... Hmm, those two Balins actually did very little as well. Only three Zerglings between them. Oh no, sorry, one of them survives. So one of them gets into the mineral line. I mean, it only takes one connection onto these drones to get them low. And once they are low, they take uh, very little to kind of get rid of from the uh, Zerglings as well. As you can see here, True is still just trying to hold on. He's lost three workers now. And of course, he has been playing with a work advantage. It's been one of his advantages in this game for a while. But it is starting to disappear a little bit as that Bane is still trying to connect. He gets the connection. That's good. Because now those drones are low on health. So Zergans can target them down much more easily. As we're going to see another queen at the front here taking damage. Doesn't go down just yet. That Bane protecting it with a good connection on four or five Zerglings. As you see that Bane queen now does go down too. Still trying to defend against this. We'll move forward again into the Bane lane. Nice Bane connection to pick up five Zerglings of his opponent. True again. Missing injects right now on the natural expansion. As another queen pulls down to the low ground. Try and help him out in this position. We're going to see a couple more Zerglings streaming forwards. The Banes are still a threat. As they're going to be seeing him, he looks to try and get a good connection on Banes of his opponent, but they do split up quite nicely, in fact. As you're going to see those Banes trading in. Actually, a good trade in the end, but six more drones going down, and this is true. Maybe starting to fall apart a bit. Now he's down in workers. However, he does have two Queens up to the front, so he's also stabilizing to some extent as well. This is still a very kind of uh, touch and go game. One Banes does get. Oh, not cancelled there! As True does keep it alive, army supply is similar for the first time in a long, long time. That it's not going to be asleep in a lead in the army supply, so... Sleep. Oh, he types out GG. 16 to 19 drones... 16 to 20 drones, 19 to 17 army supply? I don't think he realizes how much damage he did. I actually think he's in a good position. He could just draw it up now and he's in. After the bottom left hand side of New Gettysburg, our blue loser player from Sidestorm Gaming, who leads by a game in this best of three, looking to go 3 0 in the group. What, how good would that be? Topping his group with Bjorn in it. Pretty sick. It is our blue Zerg player. True. To the bottom right hand side, our red Zerg is, of course, going to be sleep. Was he behind in tech? No, there was no tech at all. It was, it was an exact same situation, and he has a worker lead. He has his own queens at home as well, and he just killed off another queen, so he has a queen advantage. He had an advantage in every single way. Like, he, he's just he's just ahead in every single way, I think, at the end of that game. Did you message him and tell him he was ahead? Yeah. It's a good way to make yourself popular in the community, isn't it? That'd work great. Just PM people after their games like, hey, by the way, you did really well apart from that part where you actually just really screwed up. I'm sure that'd go down well for everybody. <laughs> Hatchery is on the way down from both players. Hatch gas pool from both. It's actually hatch pool gas from True. Very slightly different, but it's not going to make a big difference here. It's a very, very minimal difference as we're just going to be seeing the... Um, Zergling Speed probably being set up in the early stage of this. It is a map where maybe we could see just a skip of Zergling Speed into Roaches early on. We saw earlier Guru playing kind of a very aggressive Ling style there to try and cancel his opponent's third base. And he got his own third base killed off as well. So his heavy Ling styles earlier, True did play Mutalisks on this map. Which is again what I sort of thought he wanted to do on both Yosis, but of course he didn't get the chance to get there. Let's see what Slip does here in game number two. And this is a position now where Sleep wants to 
Well, he could just do the same again, attack through the bottom side, of course, with reinforcements and, you know, just keep on spamming Zerglings. I mean, to be fair, it was working out for him in game one. It's just he didn't, uh, didn't realize that. Premature ejaculation. <laughs> I like that one. It's a good one. That made me laugh. Thank you very much, more GDK, for that. A couple of things going to move out here. Again, the Bane Nest comes down a little bit earlier from sleep than it does for true. A few Zerglings already on the way up. Eight of them, again, which is suggestive of aggression in the very early stages. I'm just going to see those two Zerglings. Just going to come in over to the right hand side. Going to get turned away by a Queen and by those few things as well, though, so. This couple of things obviously not going to do much immediately here. Yeah, and Bane on the way down for both players. And just once again, True just going into this fast fed hatchery, so. It's a very similar situation to what we saw in Apotheosis. Obviously, True did cancel the third hatchery back on Apotheosis to give himself some more minerals to work with when he realized what was going on. And you're more of the same here, I imagine, as you see these Lingans moving forwards. He sees a few Lingans. Okay, now he sees all of them. And that's when. Sleep just starts to go across the map, so True gets a good premature warning about this. Starts making his own seconds. It's the exact same situation. 27 drones to 20 in favor of True. And 15 army supply to the 24. Is True going to let that third base finish? I'd be surprised because he could got, you know, build so much more. If that extra money is going to be seen, the two billions here. Already moving forwards. The Queen's on the ramp. We're going to target down one billion nice and quickly. Queen's on the ramp, of course, we'll be hoping to hold. We see a Bane or two coming down from True. Nice, gets rid of that Bane of his opponent very easily. He loses one Queen on the low ground, but these Banes are going to move in. Oh, he gets three Bane for his two, so that's a good trade again by True. This time around, True's just immediately holding this off so much better than he did last time. He's got more Bane ready as well, and this is just a complete shutdown in comparison to the last game. Sleep is nowhere near that sort of 10 to 12 army supply lead. We saw him at multiple times last time around. He actually saw, I think, a transfuse there on one of the Queens. Uh, transfuse on something, he might have, could have been the Bailing, but uh, no, he actually protected the Bailing anyway. Nice target fire by True, once again getting rid of another Bane. As you can just see here that Sleep just isn't doing what he needs to do. Two more Banes go down without much done, one more Bane moves towards the front. And that's not going to do anything on its own, the Queen's already starting to target that down as well. And it's just going to be seeing the Zerglings continue to uh, come in. And just continue to trade. Got Ling's going to move through the bottom side of the map. He has Zerglings through the bottom from Sleep going to continue to move across. And I mean, at this point, True obviously has an advantage. He's been ahead on workers and he traded very well, which means that, I mean, at this point, he's just going to have more stuff than his opponent. He also, most importantly, I think as well, well, not really most importantly, but also has an extra advantage. He's also got the third hatchery down. It's just been a much more solid defense from True here in the early stages, and it's going to put him at a big advantage going in towards the mid-game. Sleep is almost already sort of out of this game. But let's see. I mean, it's still, you know, there's still time. You can see those Zerglings collecting together towards the upper watchtower. Just True, I mean, reinforcing, basically. What's going through the south side? Some banelings from his opponent. But, I mean, that's risky because he just sends one Zergling forward at a time to deal with those. That's a very efficient trading. So, True... Should be able to deal with that very easily. He's going to run in towards his opponent's third base. Sees that's not going to be there. And hence we'll just have to sort of pull away. There's Banes coming up the ramp. I mean, Queens are going to get rid of a good chunk of them. And yeah, only one going to remain. Even if that hits the middle line, it's not going to be too effective. Three Bane lanes, or three drones, sorry. Take damage, but that's it. So, True sits an eight worker lead now. Continuing to add on to his army supply. I mean, just had another feeling here and there. He's actually had on roaches, so you might just go for a big aggressive roach push across the map. As now I see true, actually going to be uh, using some of his banes here just to keep on trading. Two for two, maybe? Mm, yeah, two for two. I'm going to see one for one there as well. And I guess that one bane is very low, which means he trades actually just for one zergling. So, small trades through the south side of the map, but true going into a bunch of roaches, obviously, off of his 31 work account. He's going to get aggressive. He's going to send them roaches through the bottom side of the map. They're not going to get surrounded moving through the bottom side. And then is actually going to already run up towards the north. You just see these Zerglings here, they're trying to move in a couple of Banes, Sleep trying to get aggressive again, he's making 18 more Lings. Might be the right decision in a way, I mean 18 more Lings to try and help him defend against this would be ni is nice. Problem is, even if he defends, he's actually still 6 workers down, so he's defending against someone who has higher work count. So he actually needs to draw it up and then try and defend, otherwise he's just not going to have enough anyways. True once again sees the lack of a third base, he makes some more Roaches. I have to imagine that True at some point wants to do something with these and maybe just attack. These Lings are going to get shut down and True has to pull those away. It's a victory there for sleep. 
as we are going to be seeing those uh, lanes continue to move once again through the south side we go all the way over to the uh, left hand side of the map now as these roaches and queens just joining up together at the ramp and we're all going to be seeing those uh, zerglings taking quite a bit of damage. Sleep just going GG right there. He realizes he's never going to fight against this. He realizes he's very far behind. 